So, quick review then. Well, if you kept with me all the time, you would have uh, hopefully got a lot of insights there. And again, I want you to be working through on that test environment so that it actually is going into your brain. You're using more of the senses. You're not just watch watching is good. I, I like to learn from video myself. Um, anyway, we did a gateway that was separate to the web interface. Generally, it'll be on the same box. I did show you that in the uh, uh, in the video, and Citrix is still supporting it. So stay with it. Try and get an expert so that you're breezing through the Citrix Secure Gateway options, coming up against issues, and then following through. And remember, it's free. Get, your, get a handle on the Secure Ticket Authority. If you want to go deep in a deeper dive and really find out what's happening, obviously there are Doco from Citrix, but I don't think you need to know that particularly. All you need to know is it's an STA uh, DLL sitting on a Citrix server. You could use any of the Citrix servers and I'm suggesting you use three of them. The You can see from uh, if it's on the same box then you're going to need IIS so it's, it's all, all pretty smooth there so you've got IIS and then web interface and Citrix Secure Gateway are using IIS so that, that's great. Now the next thing, and uh, you don't have to do it on the same box, but if you've got a test environment you can, maybe follow along with this uh, standalone certificate authority. You can see there were some issues uh, by, you need to install IIS first, because then when you install the certificate services it does actually prompt you uh, and installs the ASP, the active server pages. So this little quirk there with the installation procedure. Um, fully qualified domain name is actually the name of the certificate I think you saw that and you just got that feel of you know you went to the cert serve part for the certificate authority and you could then issue and then import the certificate back uh, using the browser so lastly we did that little bit of prep and we got if you happen to be on that default port of 80 you need to probably think about changing that uh, you may not be able to change that easily but you can certainly play about with the uh, CTX XML uh, process which allows you to unregister the service so that's quite handy and although it kills the service after a while it's very easy to put back in it puts it back on the correct port pretty good and what have we got next? Yeah, yeah, the whole setup. Using the diagnostic I thought was a great thing. Um, quite often you go into place, you can run the diagnostic and it will fail on certain points because it is actually still usable. Just because one of the, the secure ticket authorities has fallen over does not mean that people don't get access. And uh, yeah, just getting used to that configuration wizard, putting in the just little quirks about now that you've got a custom XML port, you need to um, put that into your Secure Ticket Authority dialog. And again, don't bother with SSL Relay. We didn't. I hope I'm not going to get in anybody's bad books for that. I'm sure I'm going to get some comments under this video for omitting it. And then that web interface integration was straightforward. I just used the site that I had up there. And I just made the two, uh, the STAs I did, I just had a look at, so they had to match. And all I did was that one change, which was the fully qualified domain name that we were using from the test uh, gateway. The client test, I just did the normal stuff. Uh, remember, if it's coming from VeriSign, you won't get that uh, those errors because it's already been the trusted root uh, certificate store because it's, uh, <laughs> it's a well-known uh, authority. And finally, Take some action, immediately set up those certificate services, so put, do your certificate authority, generate your certificates, install the secure gateway software, and then do the testing from the clients and getting over the S any SSL errors. Remember you will have to accept the, if, you, if you're using the certificate authority that I we created, you will have to actually make an exception in your browser to accept that certificate because it's totally un... Uh, unsupported by a root authority. Now remember the point of these reviews, it means that the next video you use in the series, what I would like you to do, uh, preferably in the next uh, day or two, is to come back to this review 
and just quickly go through the review so it refreshes your mind and you will then benefit, you will keep that data and data longer and obviously just before you go and do your Citrix Secure Gateway obviously refresh yourself with the whole video. Now I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, till this next time it's Rusty signing off uh, I hope you enjoy.